do you remember this? The time has come. I'm going to give it a shot. It's rough. It's rusty. But, and I do not have the assistance of the bearded one. This has been sitting, if I'm not mistaken, over a year. Uh, maybe not quite a year. I believe it was like, I don't know, yeah, maybe a year. And I've put every recommended fluid into the cylinders and done everything but uh, pull the head off, start beating on the cylinders to try to get it to break. And so far, nothing. So we're going to go with option G. Option G, if you can see, is under this bag for you and me. You gotta finish around. There it is. Fresh and semi ready. It's already got caps in these holes. I believe the head has been refinished, and I'm not all, all sure of all the facts. But just like with the Willis truck, this is gonna be an undertaking that I've never done before. In the backyard with common hand tools. Cause I don't have any uh, air tools. Actually I do, but my compressor is lame. So we're gonna pull the engine out of the other one and put this one in it. And this one is not locked up, but I can't turn it with my foot cause the whole thing will fall over. So the question is where to start. Any screw I take out of this thing, there's about a 100% chance it won't go back in. And my first thought was pull off the fenders, pull the grill off, because there's not much else to it. And then I could simply slip it right in. What I don't know is what all was here from the get-go when it was made. Like that bar looks homemade, but I don't know if it is. Maybe they all have that big round bar. If you got one, you go ahead and tell me. So yeah, I'm looking for your advice, your guidance. And you can go ahead and tell me, just send it to somebody else to fix, but that ain't gonna happen. If you don't wanna watch me attempt this, then don't. But if you hang around, you can tell me some pointers if you want to. My concern is the transmission doesn't work because I can only get it in and out of two gears. I believe the last video of this was me trying to burn these off. That was unsuccessful. So we're going to go back, put the old drag around back on. And uh, I'm amazed the tires hold air. But they do because that's where air goes is in the tires. So I'm going to put that back on and we're going to park this monkey in its permanent sitting position. That's my guess on height. When I back up blew up to it, I think it's actually going to be a little higher than that. So let's move it up a little bit. It's going to be right there. You know what I never knew even when I got this thing because it did not come with instructions. It's a Harbor Freight. Are these supposed to be loose all the time? So this pivots or is it supposed to be straight and tight? I mean, I know it ain't straight now. I don't care. I'm not moving it far and I'm in the yard. So that was always the question. This thing never towed straight. I hauled it to California. I'm just kidding. I hauled around the yard. It wouldn't tow straight. Let's get old blue. When you need some serious tow undone, go blue or go home. Backing up is always kind of a challenge. So I don't have a uh, partner in crime anymore. The bearded one has moved on to bigger and better things somewhere else. So he's going to be gone a while. We're still friends. He's just uh, he's doing some training somewhere. Can't be mentioned on Kodachrome. I kind of feel like I'm cheating on him, starting on it without him, but it's got to be done. Let me see if I can get her back up. I got it wedged all around here. Then I had to put old blue in a Ford WD-40. 
I need someone to come turn the tires for me. Every time I back up, I don't get anywhere. I like this steering wheel. It's got this special stuff on it. I know it's getting dark. Just be patient with me. That's why in hospitals you're called patients. So you can be patient. Once we get her back on the slab, that's going to be her spot. Okay. A couple more movements and she should be in place. Tell you what's neat is rain. Get off of there. So let's undo this. That thing is gonna be so tight. I even tried to straighten these out. That didn't happen. Ah. I'll tell you what we need is a battery. A Duracell automotive for nothing, if for nothing else, and if for nothing else. To see, I'm trying to step over these. To see what comes on and what does not come on when you hook up a battery. And then step seven is figure out what the knobs do. I don't even know how to crank this thing. My guess is that button that doesn't do anything at all. That's my guess. I think we got a little fog on the screen. Eh, it was on the back of the screen. Not you. So, we need like a Duracell automotive bowel of battery to put in here. Duracell. Okay, we'll use that one. So question 12 is Does everything even fit? We're just gonna stick them on there for now Negative second it is of utmost importance to have a 72 Library to go in here if you use an 82 or after you're doing nothing but shoving corroded crappy zinc plated a little bit of copper on there so you take a good quality 72 library that's already got a bend city creek library and you put it right there till it's good and snug it already has a one wire alternator so that's a good start Just still on the old we got a situation right here because I did it backwards no I didn't do it backwards this is the ground going to the head the previous owner did it backwards tricked me so let's take it from the top put this one over there flip this whole thing around start over so we're hooked up and absolutely nothing works I was gonna try to cross it over see if I could just get it to bump or do anything but I can't reach from here to there. I know what you're asking yourself. How in the world does a guy who does not know what he's doing own a snap-on tool? Well, I'll tell you. I found it on the side of the road. We're in a ditch, who knows? All right, if you're tired of looking at it, look at that cat. I don't know whose that is. Like I say, right now this video is nothing but pondering my existence. I think I'm going to go with removing fenders, then detaching everything. And there is enough uh, of that brake free spray all over this that everything should come off kind of easily. We'll see. So, if you want to be kind, where do I even begin? If you haven't seen the Willis truck videos and the bearded one and I did, we drug it out of the woods. No tires, no nothing. 
got it to the point where we were driving around until someone had to own it more than me. I said, oh yeah, I'll do that. Now it lives somewhere else. I know, quit walking around it and talking. I'm just trying to get a plan. I thought you might want to participate. Thanks for watching my videos.